Well, hello everybody, it's Jeff from New York again, and we're back in Atlantic City on the northern end of the Atlantic City boardwalk. We're going to check out a restaurant today at the Ocean Resort and Casino. Sometimes I would really like to surprise you guys with as far as where I'm going. Like today, I'd rather not say where we're going until we get there inside the Ocean Resort. But that's impossible because I have to create a thumbnail, which is that little picture that you click on when you want to watch a video. And also put a, uh, a, a descriptive title on the video. So I really can't surprise you guys, and that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. We're going to check out Zen Bang Noodle Bar today. And here's the ironic thing. I think every single casino I have ever been in, regardless of whether it's Las Vegas, Atlantic City, or elsewhere, always has a noodle bar. And the funny thing is, I've never done one before as far as visiting and recording. So this is a first. Our first noodle bar, one of, I'm sure, many more to come. As I was editing this video, I thought it would be a great idea to do a noodle throwdown on the Las Vegas Strip when I'm there next week. But then I thought to myself, how many places can I possibly visit? I mean, on top of all the, the usual hotels and casinos and other attractions Las Vegas has to offer, I can only go to so many buffets, so many burger or pizza challenges, so many noodle challenges, so many casual restaurants. There's only so much I can eat. And that's a lot of food, but there's only so much I can eat in six days. So I'm going to have to whittle away at this uh, long list of things that I want to visit in Las Vegas. But I do plan on doing lots more uh, noodle bar tours in the future on this channel. So stay tuned for those. But in the meantime, let's head into Ocean and check out Zen Bang. This whole area we're heading into right now is called The District. It's got a lot of uh, fast food restaurants, casual restaurants, and shops as well. You'll see a lot of the fast food restaurants are a tiny food court here at the Ocean. And uh, some of the uh, vendors they have there are Boardwalk, District Grill, Seaside Deli, Salads and More, and Scoops. And the website says, dive into Ocean's district bars and restaurants and discover a variety of high-level flavors paired with speedy service. This Atlantic City food court lets you choose from dining options like Asian cuisine and refreshing salads to grilled bites and traditional deli sandwiches. If you're looking for a quick and quality brewed coffee to go, the district proudly serves La Vaza coffee. And as far as casual dining here at the district, there's going to be Serendipity 3. Very shortly, we're going to see that walking up here. Uh, they're pretty much almost completed with this restaurant. It's a, a very exclusive high-end ice cream parlor. Bring your bucks if you want a Sunday there, but I will definitely check it out for you guys. Uh, Makai, which is a Polynesian or a Hawaiian-themed uh, restaurant, which I've been trying to get into, uh, but either it's completely empty as far as no patrons or it was closed when I visited. So uh, that's going to be probably my next visit here is the Mackay restaurant, which we're going to pass in a little while. Villain and Saint is on the left. Uh, I've been there already. Have that video out. Uh, Top Golf Swing Suite is also here. They have some food there as well. And there's Distro and Wahlburgers, which is a uh, another video coming out soon. I already ate at Wahlburgers and have that tape in the can. It just has to be edited. And then there's, of course, Zen Bang, the noodle and sushi place that we're heading towards. That was Rocco's Pizzeria that we just got a glance of. It's a lot more than a pizzeria. They have gelato, Italian pastries, all different kinds of coffee and, and stuff to go. It's great if you're staying here at the Ocean Resort. It's a great place to come down to, pick up a few items, and head back up to your room. Very convenient, and the food's not bad at all.
This is Clarice, the Miss America crown. She's hidden in all my Atlantic City videos. Sometimes she's easy to spot and other times she can be quite elusive. If you spot her, leave a comment below on the timestamp where you found her and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video. Keep in mind guys, I will be in Las Vegas next week so I'm trying to make some videos ahead of time uh, so I can continue to post uh, almost daily here on the New York channel while I'm away and also I'll be doing some live streams from Vegas as well but the uh, shout outs on the hidden mascots might be lagging a little bit because a lot of these videos are going to be uh, done ahead of time so uh, while I uh, do the live streams I might be able to do some shout outs on those but you might have to wait a week or so before I actually give you the shout out but that does doesn't mean stop looking just make sure you make a comment below with the timestamp I will take a note I'm taking names times notes and I will definitely give you guys shout outs well here we are Zen bang noodle and sushi I do like sushi but I'm not gonna order it here today I'm not in the mood for sushi I'm in the mood for the noodles so I'm gonna take a look at the menu see what we can order up and try here and uh, keep in mind too that I am here right after checking I think I checked in about 2 33 o'clock in the afternoon so it's kind of quiet um, if you don't see a lot of people, I assure you that at nighttime this place was much busier. The menu here at Zen Bang Noodle and Sushi, like most Chinese restaurants, is very extensive. They start off with a dim sum, which is kind of like appetizers. Uh, they also have barbecue here, some soups, some uh, fried rice, uh, noodle soups, and uh, congee, and wok fried noodles and wok specialties and a fresh catch as far as fish, fish is concerned and of course that sushi menu down near the bottom. I am going for the uh, dim sum. I'm going to get the cream cheese crab ragoons. You get four of them. I love crab ragoon. Uh, that's 10 bucks and I'm also going to get the I really wanted fried rice but I'm in a noodle place so I'm going to order the lo mein. I'm going to get pork lo mein for 17 bucks and of course I'm going to get a pot of tea. When in China, you know. This smaller menu looks very Chinese authentic and I'm pretty much going to pass on everything on it. Very expensive though and at the bottom it says Kong Hei Fat Choi. I don't know what that means, I just felt like saying it. Kong Hei Fat Choi. When I sit down at restaurants for lunch or dinner, I usually order either a uh, unsweetened iced tea if I'm driving or a beer or most likely wine if I'm having dinner. But being here at uh, Zen Bang, I was just in the mood for some Chinese green tea. It's cold and damp outside and it did just the trick. I really should order tea more often. And I really couldn't have asked for a better seat. They have an open kitchen here, but most of the places you sit in this restaurant, you really don't appreciate the open kitchen. I had a perfect seat. Open kitchen on the right, casino on the left. The food is served very quickly. As a matter of fact, maybe too quickly. I just barely settled in and then my uh, crab ragoons came out right away. They looked a little flat and kind of dry, but it was very deceptive because when I bit into one, uh, it was very creamy inside. They were stuffed nicely with a lot of cream cheese and crab. That crab flavor really came through. And the dipping sauce was some kind of a, uh, I guess it was like a teriyaki. It was sweet and salty at the same time. Very good combination. I really enjoyed these crab ragoons. And as you can see, I didn't even get started on the ragoons and the noodle, the um, pork noodles came out. Again, they really need to slow down a little bit. It's not like there's a long line outside waiting to get in this place. So they just need to slow down just a little bit. And you know me, I like to eat one thing at a time. So I'm not starting on that lo mein until I'm done with these crab ragoons. The good news is that lo mein is piping hot. Those woks in the back or in that kitchen, that open kitchen, must be like a thousand degrees. And again, don't let these ragoons, uh, the appearance of them, fool you. They look kind of like dry and hard and... They're really not. They're, uh, the, the, the video doesn't do them justice. They're nice and creamy inside. The uh, flaky, the dough on the outside is very thin and flaky and just tons of flavor and that dipping sauce is fantastic. Besides, I love crab. I don't know about you guys, but I really do love crab. What about you? Do you like crab or not? Leave a comment below. I've mentioned it before, and by now you've noticed, I don't take human bites.
Do you guys ever do a dim song Sunday? It's a great idea. It's when you get together with a couple friends or family and you go to the local Chinese restaurant and you just order dim song, which again is just Chinese appetizers. A big pot of tea, some dim song, and uh, you could just make an afternoon out of it. Unless, of course, you're being rushed. I promise I'll just say it one more time. I really enjoyed those crab ragoons. As you can see, I completely finished off the entire plate. The uh, lo mein, pork lo mein noodles are still piping hot, and so is that tea. Everything here is extremely hot, so uh, if you need uh, to spend a little time and let things cool off, go ahead and do that. Uh, the tea, I brought it to my lips two or three times, and I didn't even take a sip because I knew it was boiling hot, but it's starting to cool off now, and so is this lo mein. Uh, so I'm just going to stir it around a little bit, cool it off a little more, and try it out. The smell alone is incredible. It's driving me crazy. It smells really delicious. And I know it looks kind of greasy, but I'm just going to call it shiny. Can I call it shiny? Because there's nothing wrong with grease when you're talking about lo mein, as long as it's not, you know, a bad grease. This is uh, fat from the pork. Uh, I don't know what they're using as far as the oil in the kitchen, but it's not a heavy oil. So it looks kind of greasy, but it doesn't go down that way. So uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I really enjoyed this lo mein as well, the pork lo mein. And with regards to the pork, we're not talking about your typical lo mein here where, you know, you get those little tiny, they look like little tiny dices of pork and uh, they're tossed in and you take a little while, you stir it around to find them. There must be, I'm not kidding, at least half a pound of pork in here, big chunks of it, very flavorful, and it is bringing an awful lot to the table as far as flavor to this lo mein. And yeah, I said dices. I can say whatever I want, it's my channel. And right now I know what you're thinking. He finished off those ragoons and now he's working on that huge plate with a ton of pork and noodles. There's no way he can finish that, is there? And I gotta be honest with you guys, you know I'm transparent with you as far as this channel's concerned. No, I couldn't finish the entire plate. As you can see, I had a little left. I asked for an empty container so I can bring the rest up to my room. All right, so let's check out the damage here. My crab ragoons were $10 and my pork lo mein was 17. Yeah, it's a little pricey, especially for a Chinese restaurant, but let me tell you something, not your typical Chinese food here. And honestly, I didn't even realize until I was editing this video, they didn't charge me for the tea. So I don't know if that's their policy, free tea, or maybe they just forgot, I don't know. Um, but it wasn't on my bill. And while I'm enjoying my tea, I can't help but work. I always, you know, answer my comments on the New York channel while I'm uh, relaxing. And I'm answering a couple now. Nice job with Mitzi, Wise Malik. No, Deborah, there is no Hello Kitty store here at Ocean Resort. And I think I'll catch up with the rest of the comments up in my room. I really enjoyed my late lunch, or I guess it's going to be an early dinner because I was quite filling here at Zen Bang. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Hung Hei Fat Choi. I can't help myself. I can't stop saying it. Hung Hei Fat Choi. The next morning when I was checking out of Ocean Resort, they asked me how my stay was and I commented, Hung Hei Fat Choi. And lo and behold, I got a comp to room. Just a hint for you guys, it's a good hack. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right. Or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.